Bapak biar jadi dari yang punya Welcome The video of the state and stuff from Facebook administration and say Right now, we are on our lecture number 4 in week 2 So, let's proceed with our topic for today So, we have here uh, two topics So, the first one is the date function in a phrase the second one is the date expression in SQL. The third one is the specifying selection criteria in uh, SQL. Now uh, let's continue. So we have a review of the SQL selection. Now. Don't forget the future running language in DB, the X space, which is the native database language, and the SQL stands for Structured Query Language. Now, these uh, two programming languages are needed to fully understand the hands-on in SQL. Otherwise, we're going to slow down if uh, you are not aware of the X-based uh, database programming. Now, let's uh, proceed. So the first topic we have is a date function in X space. And date function returns the current system date, which is controlled by the operating system. The example of that is something like date open and close parenthesis. Let's uh, proceed to the next slide. The date function returns also the current system date, which creates a year 2000 compliance date value. Example, date, open parenthesis, square bracket, and year stands for the number year, comma, and month stands for the number month. And end day stands for number of days. Then we have the square bracket and the close uh, parenthesis. Now, uh, this date mm, might display the date we have right now, but it could be in a format of uh, something like 2020. 10, 15. Okay, next. To do that, uh, with the four digits in N year, you need to use the set century on. And of course, we have on. The set century on shows four digit year as what. Uh, has been mentioned on the previous slide that includes 10 characters including the date limiter. The date delimiters identify that it should be in a, a slash form or maybe in a column form. Now uh, the default value of the set entry is considered to be off but it uh, shows only two digits near format that includes eight characters and assume the 20th century for date calculations. So in figure five of our picture shows the X space command for date and the set century on which there should be no output at all on the working environment or the working area. So no output using the date a function and the set century function. So to continue on that, you need to put something like a question mark. So you need to use this question mark before typing the date function to display the output. 
So we have z sin j r. So we have a z sin r, the base function. In our figure 6, it shows the x base command for j and the z sin j r with the question mark. And you should notice that there should be an output in the value of 10 slash 15 slash 20. Now, 20 identifies that the current year or the, the end year is considered to be 2 only because the set century is considered to be off. Now, if we're going to make the set century on on the other part, you will notice uh, we can check out right now that the output in the working area is considered to be 10 slash 15 slash 2020. Why? Because the set century is on. Now in figure 7, this shows the x base command for date, set century on, and a question mark. Now let's continue. So right now, in our validation board, we are finished with the date function in x base. Now let's proceed with the date expression in SDL as our second problem. So, to have a review, we have here a SQL select uh, command uh, in our lecture number 3. So, this one uh, display a series of wheels on a command. So, in figure 8, shows the SQL select command and the describing identifying a source. So you will notice that there is what is called select asterisk from the classes. An asterisk is something like identifying a source from the classes. Asterisk stands for the field name like student mode, student name, mobile mode, email, and DLDR mode. So let's continue. Now right here on figure 9 shows the SQL select command describing identifying two fields from the data source. Uh, this uh, field described as the thing from the table classes. Now you will notice that there should be only two field names. The first one is the field name, and the second one is the mobile node, because that is the only uh, identification and describing uh, what is called fields. So if we're going to describe only two fields, it will display only two fields in the query. If we're going to describe one field only, it will display only one field. But if we're going to display all of them, we can use asterisk from the data source of class B. Okay? So why why are we going to do this something like only two fields? Because we're going to use and add something like new. Okay, in the SQL function. So let's proceed. So to add a date in SQL command. By using comma next to the field name or after source field and before from blocks. Example select student name comma date function from last week. So this one display uh, student name, then comma, then the date. But the, the problem right here is that. Um, we don't know what field or column does the date goes by. So to check with us, here we add date in SQL command, and you will notice in figure 10, it shows the SQL describing two field names and date function. 
and we will not change the preferred and base is considered to be exp underscore 3 which identifies that the century on but the problem is the exp underscore 3 because we are not the one who are going to put that on the column so we are controlled by the the uh, system since we are the programmer we can control we can control the system by going to replace the name uh, given by the system as exp underscore 3 with the name we need to identify and which suited best on the program now let's continue so assign a different name to any column that is exp underscore 3 with expression or without you can add an as clock to the output expression list. For example, select signal underscore mobile name uh, fam as a date function as ikaw from class. Now ikaw identify as the field name or the column name okay, added to the two fields. So let's Check this out. Using the dates are very important in SQL. So in figure 11, it shows the SQL as clause and describing two field names and date function. So select should name mobile name comma date from black list, which identifies only uh, something like exp underscore 3 but we're going to replace that using the as clause so it should be written as select sim name sim name comma mobile no that date function as now so as is the keyword and now is the column name or the field name that will be put at and replaced by xp underscore 3 from the class list uh, source so which is considered to be better now rather than uh, the system put up something like a column so we are now replaced them with our own idea so let's continue so right now we are finished with the second topic we have and that is the rate expression in SQL and the third topic we have Right now, the last is specifying selection criteria. Now, uh, let's proceed to the topic. So, uh, specifying selection criteria is something like uh, to specify selection criteria, we use the word clause. So, specifying selection criteria is something like equal to the word clause, which word much like the fourth clause in programming. So if we're going to have a review, the fourth clause is considered to be four open case parentheses. And we're going to input a series of operations, arithmetic expression, logical and relational expression inside the parentheses. Now we can put up something like for open parentheses a is uh, integer space a is equal to zero then semicolon a is something like greater than 10 and uh, a increment okay something like that now since we know already a uh, four clause using four clause in programming it is the same as using the word clause in SQL. So the word clause consists of the keyword word followed by a legitimate condition as logical expression. So this uh, word command is considered to be true or false only. If it is true, it will display the output. If it is false, it will not display the output. And that is the condition in word clause. Now, there are no special restrictions on the expression in the word clause, which can include the following. 
you can use on site anywhere you can use also operator you can use also theory you can use also memory variable and last you can use also using the by function that's why when clause is something like a broad SQL programming uh, syntax okay so to check that out the word clause is specified join and filter condition that determine the rows the query return that's the query return okay so uh, we need to put join because uh, if we're going to put up more than one table at a time and we're going to uh, choose on that uh, tables and we need to use filter conditions to make the data more accurate okay by filtering those uh, records by the way filter and index makes the system more faster in terms of programming now we have here uh, in figure 12 both the SQL word clause using word clause in SQL check out case sensitivity so when said sensitivity it should be sensitive in the record so um, on our class list so we have signal, signal, mobile mail, email, and email mode. Then the class list, and we're going to put where, and we're going to make another statement on that description or definition. Okay, so we have we define a field name as the field name. So we're going to use that field name also in where field name, and what would be the value? So we put assignment of paper equal time, then double quote, double quote, just in case it should be, it is considered to be a character or a string. But there is not a character or a string, if, if it is a numeric, no need to put up a double quote. So, and, um, so we, 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 rec we inputted some data in a lower case. So, then it will search on the uh, record we have on the class list and finally it doesn't have the similar text because capital letter S and non-capital letter S or lowercase letter S is not the same so there should be no output now the second code we have to let uh, word should name is equal to some data which is in the upper case and uh, it should be searching on the record from the seed name which is very similar like the upper case and data then it search out and it will display in the query uh, form so that is for the word class now we're going to identify another word clause because uh, imagine if it takes uh, five things to, to add okay, and use in the word clause. Now, uh, in our validation board, so we are finished with the three topics we have in, uh, in uh, database administration. Okay. So, so, uh, if you have any questions, recommendations, comments, just feel free to add on my uh, email in YouTube, uh, Gmail, also in Yahoo. And you can also message me or comment in my Facebook. Congratulations, you can successfully finish our lecture on this day.